this old greenhouse. How are you guys doing today? So, I gotta go check my okra. Don't wanna let it get too big on the um, bush because it gets hard and it's no good at that point. Um, I picked some of this late the other day and I couldn't hardly cut it with a knife. And I like to cut it in little pieces so I can fry it up when I take it out of the um, freezer. So, you don't want to let it stay on the, the vine too long. And it is time to check it because I didn't check it yesterday. It's been a crazy week. We've had a lot of stuff going on putting the glass in the greenhouse and I have neglected a few things around the garden. So, um, headed down there now. Got to grab a bucket. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I see some. Yesterday it wasn't ready, but it only takes just a little bit of time. That is a good piece right there. So you really have to stay up on checking it pretty often. And I'll show you guys what it looks like if you've never grown okra. So it just grows right in here. There's a piece right there, it needs to come out. There'll be more forming right through here. You can see some of the smaller ones that aren't quite ready yet. And you basically have to check it like every day because it grows quick. And like I said, you don't want to leave it on there too long or it's, you can't even cut it. Everything's growing so big. The corn's getting so tall. Look at that. We've got, the ears are growing. You can see the silk on them. Oh, got some cantaloupe. Watermelon growing. Wow. I'm like in a jungle of corn. <laughs> Hopefully there's no snakes in here. I have my boots on now. Okay, well, that's not quite ready yet. Lots of beans. And I saw a bean over here looking like it could be ready before too long. So, there's some right there. A whole bunch of them in there actually. Not quite ready yet though, but oh my gosh, it won't be long. How thick. The corn has gotten so tall. Oh, there's a bean right there. Now that is almost ready. Well, I'm going to be canning beans soon. I mentally wrap my head around it. I'm going to be busy. Almost done with the greenhouse, so just in time. I've been helping my husband this week a lot on it. Um, Trying to wrap it all up. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Look at that. How super weird. That is big. My goodness. Tall little ones. All right, let's look. I saw a red one over here. Where was that? Oh, over here. Oh, I'm trying not to step on anything I shouldn't. Oh, that's a little one. Oh, how cool. Gosh, that plant is covered. All right. All right, it's exciting. Everything's getting close. It's gonna be all at the same time. It's gonna be doing like tomatoes and beans and every corn. I'm gonna be busy. Be a busy lady there for a little while. Let's check eggs. So the leghorn. I haven't been down here a whole lot of the chickens just because we've been so busy at the greenhouse, but um, so I haven't I got a lot of footage down here. But the leghorn was broody for like two or three days. I took her off the nest a couple times. One day I locked her out of the coop, and that's all it took. She was done. So which was really easy. Uh, my coachings were very difficult to break. Yes, it's definitely not like trying to break a coaching. That was just, it takes a lot. Um, 
and they're very determined. They're, they sit all the time. So, you know, it's just a rare occurrence if one of these type chickens go broody. And generally it's just take them off the nest and that's it. A lot easier to do, especially when I have like a lot of other stuff. Now, I love the Cochins, they're awesome. They're a great breed if you're wanting um, to hatch chicks. Such an easy way to do it. Um, you don't even have to have an incubator, I'll do it for you. So, they're great. I mowed my yard last night with my little mower, push mower that has a bag on it, so I gave them a bunch of grass. They were super happy about that. Now, 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 now. Go, 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 go. It's hard to walk in here. It's warm today. Seems like it's about 90, but there's an awesome breeze. It feels pretty good. It's not super humid. Just summer temperatures, basically. So my little Roo, I heard him crowing this morning, trying to get it out, learning. His comb's all red, and he's really cute. His name is Luke. I don't think they really care too much about him too much. They don't mind him anymore. They did, I think that he got on their nerves at first, but they're getting along fine. He's much smaller than them. I got some big ladies. <laughs> he's very pretty though. All right, I'm gonna take my little harvest up the hill um, tonight. Well, I should say this evening when my husband gets home. We are going to work on the vent fan wall. We're gonna install the vent fan. And then I think the large piece of glass that's beside the door up here, the um, storm door, we're gonna try to put that in. And then tomorrow we're gonna do the window wall and then we should be done. Um, we got to put in a water hose and some shelving. So Saturday is hopefully the finished day. And then I've got stuff to do in there, but little things, get things together. Okay, I have eggs coming out the wazoo. My goodness. And I've already given like tons of them away. Eggs. More eggs. All right, this is what I brought from inside. Oh my gosh. And then more eggs. I'm swimming in a sea of eggs. So I need to have something with eggs in it for dinner. <laughs> We're working on the vent fan wall. And it's a little more complex because it's got a lot of angles. And we got a little shower going on, but the sun's out, so I don't think it's gonna stay very long. Well, we've got this glass and that one and that one. I know you can't see it, cause I can't. Um, vent fan is coming up next. And then we have, I think we're gonna put that big piece in right here tonight. And then this is all we have left for tomorrow and the water hose and shelving. We're getting very close. And the sun's back out. Yeah. yeah. It's warm in here though. 84. Maybe that vent fan will help. Here's Seth. Handyman. <laughs> he smiled. Sitting in the tanning bed, tanning booth. That's my um, father in law. He has dementia. <laughs> so here's the trim pieces. Looking good. <laughs> sure. Off. High. 
Working good, and it's got a temperature gauge here, so we can set. Yeah, it's got a thermostat. We can set the temperature for when we want the fan to come on. And it feels good. It's, it's already pulling air. All right, we've got the last piece going in tonight. The big piece by the door, and then all we have left is this side right here and the trim. It's going great. Every piece has fit. No discrepancies, all fit in perfectly, which has been great. Okay.